Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is September 17th, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I am going to talk about a devastating series of landfalls by Super Typhoon Manghut in the Philippines, in Hong Kong, and in China. And this image that we are looking at now is from Earth Null School dated September 13th, so four days ago, when Manghut was on approach to the Philippines. I'm gonna go ahead and advance this model and, and show you where Manghut impacted at, at high intensity and also discuss some of the unfortunate and, and tragic results from this terrible storm. Now moving this storm about one day forward to September 14th, we can see the eye crossing the northern island of the Philippines, hammering the island with se severe winds and, and heavy rains, which have unfortunately resulted now in the official reported deaths of, of 66 people with dozens more missing, including dozens of children working at an illegal mine in this region of the northern Philippines. It's worth noting that, that tens of thousands were affected by this landfalling super typhoon and that reports as of this time are, are not complete and unfortunately the damage is likely to continue to be counted over the coming weeks and, and months. The storm, according to the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, achieved a maximum intensity of 170 mile per hour maximum sustained winds with winds gusting to around 200 miles per hour. And the storm did unleash its full fury on the northern section of the Philippines. This strike occurring just five years after the devastating strike by Super Typhoon Haiyan. We'll go ahead and show you a NASA satellite picture, an enhanced satellite picture of Manghut on approach to the Philippines. And you can see this massive cloud cover. The storm itself covered more than 550 miles in its circulation at its peak intensity. So it's extraordinarily large storm with far-flung impacts. Advancing the model further by one day, we can see the storm making its approach toward both China and Hong Kong on the 15th. And by the 16th, it had already made landfall. I'm gonna go ahead and back this up. So here we see Manghut approaching mainland China and Hong Kong. Now, according to reports, I'm gonna go ahead and play this video here of a massive wave striking parts of Hong Kong on the 16th as Ming Hoot was approaching the shore. And according to reports, Hong Kong was, I'm sorry, Ming Hoot was the strongest storm to strike Hong Kong in decades with maximum sustained winds near 100 miles per hour and gusts over 125 miles per hour, which produced an 11 foot storm surge breaking a 100 year record for Hong Kong, producing widespread damage throughout Hong Kong, but no loss of life. And here you can see this massive wave striking a, a hotel along the coast of Hong Kong as Meng Hu approached. The storm was also quite, made a quite intense strike in South China as well, producing a, a strong storm surge and severe damage and making a, a 5 p.m. landfall on Sunday on the coast of Jiangmen with maximum sustained winds of around 101 miles per hour and producing an unfortunate loss of, of five individuals in southern China with 213 people injured. It's worth noting also that 3 million people have been evacuated along the path of Manghut in China as China tracked inland. With main threat now from Manghut being 
heavy rainfall. And I'm going to go ahead and just switch this to a, a cloud perspective. So you can see the clouds associated with Mancoot now raining out over China. I'm going to go ahead and show you the rainfall estimates. So, so relatively heavy rainfall now associated with Manghut over China, with the primary threat at this point, as with Florence being river flooding, although the remnants of Manghut are moving a bit faster than, than those of Florence. So a number of very severe impacts from a storm that has been enhanced by human-caused climate change. Just want to note that Manghut fed on warmer than normal ocean temperatures and that sea surface temperatures in this region a few days ago before Manghut moved through these waters were much warmer than normal, helping to feed its extreme intensity and the damages that we have seen. It's worth noting that in general, tropical cyclone intensity is on the rise, primarily due to warming ocean surfaces and increasing atmospheric water vapor, which is an impact of human-caused climate change. It's also worth no noting that other impacts, such as jet, jet stream changes due to sea ice loss, likely also enhance the potential for storms to slow down and rain out over longer periods, as we have seen with Florence. So a very severe series of impacts from Manghut over the past few days. And unfortunately, we are likely to see uh, continued reports of, of possible rising death tolls and increasing physical damages due to the extraordinary intensity of this storm. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be chatting with you soon.